everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrap scrapbooking corner. I'm here with 15 and si pages 15 and 16. There are no more uh, layouts using the assembly line, so I am on to my own. I have just a few pieces here, you know, scraps, and a few embellishments left that I'm going to try to use up and see if I can squeeze out a few more pages and so with that let's get started on pages 15 and 16. Okay so I have my pattern paper which I am going to say to use as layering for other layouts so I'm going to use white cardstock as my base and I do have those pattern scraps which are the first page it's cut at eight and a half by three inches and on the second page it's eleven by three inches wide but I'm going to work on the first page first I do have a scrap that I cut strips of and that right there and I try to use those the top and bottom of this blueprint, I do believe, but I don't like them, so I do away with them, and you'll see that here in a minute. Right there. I decide I don't like them at all. is my punch outs and I was going to use that at the top but decided not to. Instead I use a cut apart, a piece of a cut apart and I have three small punch outs which I put a brad on in the left corner of and I end up putting that in the top right corner but in the meantime I'm working on photo mats and I'm going to to double mat those and I have the bottom one is five and a half by three and three or by four I'm sorry so it's five and a half by four inches and the top mat is three and three quarters by five and a quarter and they're cut and you see I'm working on the first page or the second page and I cut three squares that are I believe they're two yeah, they're two inches, two and a quarter inches. <coughs> and there's that cut apart that I put punch outs on. And the ribbon is from my stash, or not from my stash, sorry, it's from the kit. And I'm adhering the punch outs onto that, and then I will adhere that down. I think I use vintage photo to ink. I usually use one of ink because I like how it's dark so you can actually see I inked it. But on this, I used vintage photo. And I'm going to use that stamp and touch it. It's my phone, Coco. I'm going to use those stamps, which, hey, quiet, which is, which is uh, from Fiskars, which I purchased from Joann's, but I don't remember which stamp pack it came from. I'm going to stamp it in blue and then right there, and it doesn't stamp there I practiced and then when I do the actual stamping it didn't it didn't work so well so I ended up having to stamp on a teal cardstock okay.
and it worked out not perfect, but it was better. There I'm using my uh, thingamajig. I think it's what it's called, yeah. To stamp, and then I can know where to place it. Oh, oh god, hush it. Hush it. I don't know what she's barking at. Hush it. I think she hears my husband in the other room. And then I have that scrap. scrap. I have that green one, and then the teal one, and I end up using the teal. <coughs> Here I use my quarter rounder punch to round the corners. I have a punch apart, which is there, and I put brads on them. Those are from the kid as well. Sorry, my husband just came in the bedroom. I have two photo mats, which are the same size as on the first page. The Top photo, bottom photo mat is three or is five and a <coughs> yeah, five and a half by four. It's okay. And the top photo mat is five and a quarter by three and three quarters. And I use ribbon for my sash. I don't have enough of that ribbon left, so I have to use a different one. Or not my stash for my <coughs> kit, sorry. Oh go. Hey. It's enough. It's okay. I was daddy. I like that with daddy. You're making all kinds of racket in there, Amy. And then I'm going to take the, the wood grain stamp that came in the kit. And I'm going to stamp that there in the middle. <clears throat> there you go. I would do that. And then I have some smaller pattern stamps, which you see there. There's where I ink the wood grain in the center. Uh, that piece I have to cut down smaller because of my photo mats were too, too close to the edge. So I trim it just a little bit. And then I have the smaller pattern squares that I stamp on more cardstock using blue ink and I don't like it so then I stamp it using green ink and I don't like it so I end up using blue ink on the green paper, same green as my photo mats. And that is what I go with. I fiddle with those three to try to figure out which one I like, but I end up going with the green paper. I line them all on my, my uh, Fisker stamp press. That way I can cut them out. Then I do these in blue. Now I'm going to do green. The 
gonna take this way out. I had a humongous mess. And I'm gonna end up just kind of fiddling with that for a few minutes. Try the green, and I say nope. And I end up going with that right there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and say thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will be back when I have another layout. Thanks for watching. Bye.